this property would be $250,000, maybe a little bit more, and that would be $1,350 a month. I can't touch these returns like this in my town. That is a 9.4% cap rate out the door. That's a really good cap rate. I couldn't touch this in my town. I found a great property to invest in in St. Louis. This has got a great cap rate. I think it's got a really nice rate of return for you. This is one of these properties that people are asking me about all the time. They reach out and say, Brian, how can I find out which properties to invest in? How do you look? What criteria do you look at? So I do this all the time. I'm looking at all these platforms. I wanted to show you one here I found. I'm going to show you how I went about looking at this property. And this is where you can invest in real estate for just a few dollars, as low as $50 per shares per token. You don't need good credit. No one cares about your income. All you need is basically 18 years old and be a bank account. And I think just living here in the US. So here's Lofty. So let's just jump right into it, you guys. This is the Lofty Marketplace. In the description below, I'll have a link to that so you can look at this property and also put the address down there. So click on the link if you want to invest or if you want to look at this property. So here it is right here. It's in St. Louis. And you can see this property, it's a new listing. So you can participate in this one right here. Let's go ahead and just click on that. It's 1209 Cove Lane. And let's look at the pictures just so you get a quick idea of the pictures. It's got some new stuff going on in here. So kitchen's newer, that looks nice, big open space, older, ah, old style fridge. Look at those apartment grade fridges. Floors look decent. And then there's a little damage back here in this rental, kind of a little damage on the here. Floors, like I said, floors are looking pretty good. Um, from here, windows look okay. Ceilings, I'm not seeing like smoke, dark smoke damage. I can't smell it, so I can't go in there. But as I click through these pictures, I'm looking at this. It looks like it looks like a decent rental. Looks like this is the upstairs where they get those extra two bedrooms. There's one, and there's going to be the other. Looks like it hasn't. It's going to be on an alley, I think, because that might be access to that garage. So I think it's on an alley. Usually, when these power lines are here, I'm assuming it's on an alley. There's the front of the house. Looks like it has a new or newer roof. All right. So this could go ahead and just jump right into how I would look at this property right here. Starting at $50 a token, like I said, there's 737 tokens left. This is what they're projecting, 12.54% return, projected annual rate of return. They have it under contract. I don't think it's closed yet. So you can buy in now. So it's a four bedroom, one and a half story home fully renovated in spring of 2023. So new roof, new water heater, upstairs, open space converted to two bedrooms, new electrical panel system, updated light fixtures, updated kitchen with cabinets, countertops, new appliances, sinks and hardware and flooring, updated bathroom, toilet, sink and vanity, and updated paint, wall ceilings and trim. The property has neutral finishes, great. The second level is newly finished and offers great space for kids. Property was approved by the city for a four bedroom occupancy after renovation in and addition of two bedrooms. That's good. That's been done. Seller to provide that. House Canary Agile Evaluation estimates the property value at $114,000. Let's go ahead and look at that House Canary. Where is that? So this is like, it's not an appraisal. I think what they do is they, they pay for this. Lofty pays for this. I think what they do is they, this is probably what's called a broker price opinion a BPO where they send an agent out to do an analysis on the property. You can flip through this whole port report, actually, because if you go right here, this is where you can click on it. You can go through this whole report. I'm not going to go over it here. Um, it's a lot of stuff, a lot of information, similar to what you would see on an appraisal. They give it a C2 rating. C1 means brand new construction. C2 means just off of that. And then C3 needs a little bit of work. C4 and C5 need a lot of work. C6 means it's just toast. So um, they give this one a C2. That's kind of all you really want to know on this report if you want to go through it. It does provide other pictures from the agent, the BPO agent. So, you know, that's interesting. They give it a house value of $114,000. I don't disagree with that, but I also don't necessarily agree with that. I'm not in that market and I know automated evaluations can be kind of off. Now, if this is an evaluation from an agent, from that BPO agent, that's interesting. That's great. If you go pull this property and all these properties, you should pull them up on realtor.com and Zillow. If you go to, this is going to be realtor.com here, pending 109. It's actually being under contract for 107.5. Pull it up on Zillow. What Same thing. 
Um, there's estimates at 107, so it's just kind of right in there on the pricing. There's not much information you can get from Zillow and Realtor.com that you don't already get from Lofty. Lofty provides a ton of due diligence and good information for you to look at to invest in. So let's go back down here. It's going to be managed by Evernest Property Management. There's the insurance. Now, this is interesting. Under occupancy status is vacant. The property manager projects a 1300 to 1400 a month target rent range. That's great. Now, location data C on zip code for niche.com. This is St. Louis. I don't know anything about the St. Louis market. So I basically just going off the numbers here. None of us are ever going to visit or see this property. So that's kind of the best we can do. Um, if you do go in and look at the street view off of, you know, realtor, this is realtor.com. You can provide the street view. Let's pull that up. I always look, you want to do this and look up any property you're going to invest in because you want to look at what's across the street because luckily in this case, though, it's a gray day. All the houses are the same. That's fantastic. What you don't want to see is looking over here and then seeing like a big commercial building, um, a really heavy, nasty street that you can't tell is maybe driving, you know, coming at you. Always look at the street view to see what's around the property. Now, we don't know. These street views can be a couple years old and they're always done on crappy days, it seems like. And so this just does look like a similar type neighborhood. So that's great. Now, getting back here, property update. The property manager has reassessed rents. This is last month. Basically reassessed it for $1,350 a month. I'm assuming, I have you have to have a little trust in the system. I'm assuming the property manager is not lying. But that's $150 over his previous target of $1,200 a month. So, you know, that's fantastic, actually. Now, we're going to look at these documents here. Actually, we don't really, I'm just going to show them to you, but I'm not going to read all of them. I actually did go through and read all of them. But let me just show you what you've got. So here's the renovations that were completed. Again, it says right here, new roof, electrical. You can see right here, countertops, cabinets, new appliances, new sink and hardware, new flooring, the bathroom, paint throughout the property, walls, ceilings, and trim. So those were done. That's really nice. That's done already. That's really nice. Now, this right here is pillar to post home inspection. This is a seven, almost $800 inspection they paid for. I looked at it. And like all inspections, they're written to ruin deals. Like <laughs> agents hate it when the inspectors come in because, uh, you know, most, I shouldn't say most, some inspectors just, I mean, they're supposed to note everything with the property. So the report is not supposed to be, here's your inspection on your awesome property. A property inspection is supposed to tell you, here's all the things wrong with your property. Some people, you know, it, it, can, it can sway a deal. If there's too much in there that's wrong, obviously you want to know that. But realize property inspections are supposed to note basically every single damaged thing they can find and they can make properties look horrible. That's just from a broker's opinion because we see these all the time. It's like you'll sell a house and it's in great, absolutely great shape. And then here comes this inspection noting 35 things that are just they're really small little things that are wrong. I tell my clients, look at a property inspection as the things that you need to do over the next years you own this house to get in into the shape that you want it in unless there's something huge on this inspection. Now on this one, there was one thing on the inspection that I did note, and that is it said that the AC system was in the, it, toward the end of its life. And there is no, there is nothing in this, um, in this, you know, the operating agreement or in any proposals on this property that they're gonna be fixing that AC. So I think like, this is what I would do if, I, if this was my rental house, you run that AC until it dies. You don't, you know, if it says it's end of its life, that's just a number. This could be five years out. This could be seven years or 10 years out. Sometimes it could be one year out, it could be one month out. So you just don't know. So you let it run until it dies and then you look at replacing it. Really, that's what you would want to do. Now, this is what the seller has agreed to do before closing based on basically on that inspection. There was other things noted on there. So the seller is going to do a termite treatment. He's going to fix the gas shut off valves in the furnace that were noted. He's going to fix the active link. The kitchen sink has a leak. The loose toilet is going to be fixed. The shower head had a leak on it. That's going to be fixed. And they're going to do some window repairs. That's all what's going to be done before closing. Now, these are the estimated closing costs with Lofty. That's part of the buyers. You know, we investing in this end up paying those. That's part of the, what it is, but they're breaking it apart. And that's really nice. That house canary valuation was $150. Bucks. That inspection report from to pillar to post was $738. Title insurance, title service, 1061 and the government recording charges, 186 These are all in line. I don't know that market, obviously, in St. Louis specifically, but I do real estate here in my town. 
Um, and I mean, these just aren't off. These are just the kind of numbers you're going to expect to see. So that's nice. They're not padding these numbers or adding anything onto it suspicious. I really like that. I can look at the purchase and sale agreement. This is the purchase and sale agreement. There's the seller. There's the property. It's funny that here in, in St. Louis, or not here, but in St. Louis, this whole, how many pages is this? One, two, three. I mean, they're pro a three-page purchase and sale agreement. In my state, my purchase and sale agreement minimum is going to be 19 pages long. This is fantastic. So you can read the whole purchase and sale. Now here's the title report. Title reports are just a bunch of boilerplate information with a little bit of specific information built in. You're welcome to read that and look at that. I did glance at it and I didn't see anything odd. Right here is the operating agreement for the property. Now this is the property is going to be run as a DAO, which is called the Decentralized Autonomous Organization. What that means is that the members of the DAO, each person that invests in this property, and say you buy one token for $50, you get a vote and you get to decide what's done with this property. Now let's say that um, AC unit does go out, then the property manager will get a bid. Let's say company A says it's $2,500 and then pump company B says here's a different unit for $3,200. They will present that to the DAO, the group, the owners, and then we will vote on that if we invest in this property. If you invest in it, then you get a vote on whether you know which one you want to do. Do we pick the cheaper one or the more expensive one? Um, so it's the group of investors are participating in the management and making those decisions. You get to decide if you buy into this property. You get to help decide um, these decisions, and that's part of what a DAO is. So you can read that right here if you want to read what a DAO is. It's sort of a crypto term from the crypto world. DAOs, you know, investment clubs have been around forever, but DAOs are definitely crypto related. So Lofty, like I said, uses the Algorand blockchain. So they're using crypto, you know, crypto terms and bringing that crypto world into real estate. The idea I know a lot of people and in this world of crypto are looking for blockchain real estate to grow and become a thing. So that's what this is here for this DAO. Now, one of the best things about why I really like investing, I like this property. And that is, so I like the software called DealCheck. I'll put a link in the description below to deal check if you want to buy into that. Yes, it's an affiliate link, but you also get a little bit of a discount. I use deal check for me and I use it for my clients. And in, in my town, I use this. So when I am looking at a property with a client, I'll run it through deal check and then I'll email this report to my client. But even on the deal, this is just to show you because I wanted to show you guys, this is the free version of deal check. So you can use it for free. If you click on the link, you don't have to pay anything to get the free version of deal check. I inputted all the numbers for this property into here. So we could get an independent analysis. Is this a good investment or not? I'm you know, not just looking at, you know, if we go back here and let's say, go back here. So you look at the financials. I'll show you a little more information here on Lofty. Okay, so here's the property. Now you go down here to financials. It's going to give you a nice breakdown. The total investment value is $115,000, right? They're purchasing it for one oh seven five from the seller. Closing costs, including the inspection and appraisal, we went over that was twenty one seventy five. The Dow fees, that Dow, you know, the attorney fees for setting that is five fifty, and then five thousand three hundred seventy five dollars for operating reserves. That's really nice. That's what's going to be sitting in the account. So when that if or when that AC unit blows, here's some money right here to get that thing immediately fixed or repaired and get this thing back into service. Now it shows you their projected rates of return on investments. I'll show you my own version of this. So here's what their rent is going to be. This is that $1,350 a month. Take out $1,782 in property taxes. Homeowners insurance of $776. Property management of $1,134. That's a decent property management fee, you guys. Look for property management fees between 8 and 10%. So I think this is in that, obviously, that 8% range. The annual administrative fees for that DAO is going to be $550. Cash flow here, $997 a month cash flow after expenses. You guys, that's fantastic. Remember, this purchase price is for us is $115,000. You know, from the seller, I think it's one oh seven. In fact, I think I read in here that they're actually, I did read this in here. The seller is paying Lofty a $5,000 fee. Fine, Lofty needs to make money for this to work. So I don't, I don't begrudge that. Because the rents are good, you know, we're buying in at 115, not 107, but you have to give Lofty something to have this platform make sense and work for them. So the projected annual cash flow to us is 11, basically, look at this, $11,958. That's a $12,000 projected annual cash flow. 
Now, like I said, I brought this in the deal check and I wanted to do an independent analysis of it. And on my analysis of it, we just look right here. Cash need, this is the cash price, $115,000. Cash flow of eight forty dollars a month. That is a 9.4% cap rate out the door. That's a really good cap rate. I couldn't touch this in my town. I'm in Washington state. This property in my town to rent for $13.50 a month, I would be you wouldn't, and, and in newer condition with newer services, you know, newer carpet, newer paint, newer brand new roof. Right now in my town, this property would be at least $250,000 to get that same rent. I would project, I mean, that's, you're buying it for one fifteen in my town, thirteen fifty a month. I'm in Spokane, Washington, and I'm over in Coeur d'Alene. Forget Coeur d'Alene off the charts. Even in Spokane, Washington, this property would be $250,000 maybe a little bit more, and that would be $1,350 a month. I can't touch these returns like this in my town. That's why I'm talking about Lofty. That's what this channel is all about. I can't find properties for my clients in my town. We're going to invest online. Online investing where you invest from your computer in real properties. So like I said, the 9.4% cap rate, you're going down here, breaks out how much of your income and expenses. This is really nice how it breaks it out right here. So cap rate based off purchase price is 9.4%. Cap rate based on market value is 8.8. .8. Your cash on cash return is 8.7%. Your return on equity, 8.5. Return on investment, 5.1%. This is really good. Now, this is really nice down here at the very bottom. Purchase criteria. What rules does it pass? It passes the 1% rule. That This for me in my town was 20 years ago when I could get a property in that 1% rule that was a listed property. In fact, I started in Seattle 1991 was when I graduated from college and I started investing and buying properties and being a real estate agent in Seattle, 1991. Maybe I could find a, a property, not on the MLS, but by knocking on doors and talking to, you know, talking to sellers to get that 1% rule. So here we are, we've got, it passes the 1% rule. It passes the 50% rule, cash flow check greater than $150. And it fails the 2% rule. I don't really like the 2% rule. I'm not even going to go over that. Now, what is the 1% rule? The 1% rule is to say you buy a house for $100,000 and it rents for $1,000 a month. That's the 1% rule. So this is better than that. You can buy it. This is $115,000. It's renting for $1,350 a month. Boom, passes the 1% rule. That's a great investment. Check out this property. Buy these tokens. I'm going to buy these tokens. I really do think this is a fantastic deal. I think this is a good one. People, like I said, people are reaching out to me. Brian, which is a good one. How do I look at these? I would look at this one right here. Again, we'll go back to it. I'll show you what it is. 1209 Cove Lane, St. Louis, Missouri. Pull it up on Lofty. Click on the, the link in the description. Go to Lofty. And then you don't need to pay anything to search and look it up. Just click on it and then go there. If you want to invest, then go through the property. I mean, go through the process of creating an account. Super easy with Lofty. You just have to, I think you, I had to show my driver's license. That was it to get in. That's all you need to do. Then you connect the bank account. Or you can send money with crypto. You can send it through wallets. Lofty uses blockchain, like I said. So you can, if you want to buy into this just using crypto, you can do that and just send it from your wallet to wallet into Lofty. Check it out. If you like this investment, send, make a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this analysis. Let me know what you think of me looking at properties specifically like this on this platform. I'd love to do more. I would, I've got some on ground floor I'd like to look at and you know, show you guys also. So let me know if you guys think this is a good idea. And then if it is, I'll just keep making more videos like this. Thanks again, you guys.